everybody to uh, our presentation today on cannabis therapy fundamentals. My name is Deanna Gabriel. I am a certified clinical herbalist and clinical nutritionist. I'm educated in how to use botanical medicines, how to apply that to therapeutic settings uh, to gain a specific um, level of health or improvement in symptom conditions. So I'm going to talk with you about cannabis as medicine. Uh, break down some of the different constituents in the plant, talk a little bit about what they can offer us in terms of health and healing, and then we're going to talk a little bit about the different types of cannabis therapy that are available. I'm sure most of you have heard conversations about indica versus sativa. Strains are probably one of the most talked about aspects of cannabis therapy. When you look at some of the research, however, uh, a lot of scientists are uncertain as to whether or not we really have true differentiation between an indica or a sativa. This so let's talk now a little bit about some of the basic constituents that are found in cannabis. Um, there are several famous ones. Of course, the most famous constituent is the THC. Uh, THC is um, present in the living plant in the form of an acid actually the type of THC that we think of and know of that has the psychoactive effect is not something that occurs naturally in the plant, it's something that happens when decarboxylation. I want to go into a discussion about the different kinds of cannabis medicines. Uh, there are a lot of different styles of, of cannabis therapy available and not all of them are going to address the same types of symptoms. It's really important to know what to expect from the different forms of cannabis because it will really help either tailor your own therapy or help you tailor your patient's therapy specifically to the symptoms that they're experiencing. Tincture would be a liquid extraction of the constituents held in cannabis. So all of the things we talked about, THC, CBD, flavonoid, terpenoid essential oils, all to a certain degree will be available in this liquid concentrated extraction. So oil infusions can be made in, uh, with topical remedies in mind or with edible remedies in mind. Common oils for extracting cannabis are for topical application. Olive oil is probably one of the best choices for making Let's a cannabis Let's move on and talk infusion. a little bit about edibles. So for edible therapy, uh, a really great way to do edible therapy is to infuse cannabis into a cooking oil. So just as we talked about with the topical therapy using olive oil, you can use cannabis infused olive oil in cooking. I want to move into a discussion on hash therapy. So hash therapy is um, basically the pressed resin trichomes of the plant, pressed together and condensed if it's administered properly, it brings a beautiful sense of euphoria for someone that's really struggling with a lot of physical pain or a lot of mental anguish. Um, the right hash dose can be really effective for relieving that experience for them. Mm -hmm. 